Sweet. All right, let me make sure I'm sharing my screen. Uh, start virtual camera. Start that. Share my screen. Long screen. There we go. Sick. All right. People chatting. There you go. Cool. You got a textbook. I like that. Nice. Opening it. Oh, this is your whole book. Oh, Principles of Mathematics. This is the whole book. Okay, cool. What's up, Shifter? Good to see you, bro. Shifter's in Vietnam. Oh, wow. What time is it in Vietnam, Shifter? Tell us. What's up, dude? Yeah, the boy's in Vietnam. Oh, that's awesome. Right? I've been to Vietnam. Vietnam's cool. Really? Um. Yeah, 6 a.m. Yeah, wow, 6 a.m. for him. Yeah, that's, that's going to be late. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, all right, there we go. Awesome. All right, let me move this around. All right, that goes there. This goes there. Everything goes everywhere. How was your weekend, Demented? You have fun? So much fun. What'd you do? Oh, all I did was, like, stay up playing Valorant, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and then that's sick. I need to play more Valorant. Uh, it's kind of like Counter Strike, right? Yeah, it's it's literally Counter Strike, but you get abilities. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I gotta remember. Like, it, for me, like those games are hard for me because I have to like remember what everyone's abilities are. You know, especially like Overwatch. I mean, it's that... a one. oh, Overwatch is a pain to remember. Right? Because yep. every, everyone has like main ones and they have alts. What's up, Obama? Yo. Yo. Um, okay, cool. Let me pull in, pull in the book. Page 50. Sorry, what? How did I set up what? Your, like, uh, what's it called? On Discord, it shows the, like, the streams chat. Yes, yeah. So what I have is in OBS, I have a, a virtual camera, and then the OBS is piping the preview out to, um, out to Discord. Uh, out to Discord, yes. So I don't know if you can full screen my video on Discord, but it's a way to like watch the stream stream rather than just seeing my shared screen. It's a way to do it. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Let me start off the stream with everyone. All right, welcome everyone to Office Hours. My name is Dr. Gold. This is the stream that helps you out with math homework, science homework, all types of fun stuff. First up, we got Demented here with, uh, part of some, what, Algebra 2, you're in Demented, right? That's, that's what it's in? You're in Algebra 2? Uh, I think this is Algebra 1. We're just going over the basics that I completely forgot. That's okay. Yeah. I'm here for the review, dude. All right, page 38 and 39. Okay. You need to do 1, 3, 6, and 7. Wait, no, no, sorry. That was on the other page. Uh, 1, 1, 5, 9. Oh, okay. Oh, isolate the variable? Well, bro, you know how to do this. Also, I figured out why my snipping tool thing wasn't working. It's because this um this 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 keyboard has like a game mode which disables the Windows button. I was like, what? Oh yeah, I have the exact same thing. Yeah. Dude, I was like, what? Is it a Logitech? Yeah, it's a Logitech. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh. I was like, that's why my Windows key is never working. <laughs> What's up, oh, Nick? Damn. I see you, Nick. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Uh, okay, let me grab that. Let me grab three, five, and nine. I remember That's doing this last year with you. The only thing that I'm struggling with is, like, uh, what's it called? It's when it, like, adds fucking work problems, and then I have to fucking find the money. Oh, thing. yeah, 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 yeah. Converting, yeah, that's a big one. Converting, converting word problems into algebraic problems, like that type of stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh, and then solve each system. Wow, okay. One, three... Oh, oh, no, one, <sighs> come on, Gio, one, five, nine, that's what it is, okay, there you go, this is what I want, this one, <sighs> and then nine, which are these, okay, cool, Holy shit. I know, there's a lot, <laughs> we're not gonna do all of them, <laughs> we're gonna do some of them, <laughs> I'm going to make sure you know how to do it, and then I'm going to have you do the other ones on your own time. But, yeah. Okay. That's, that's, yeah. I was like, it's only three questions, but it, that's a lot. Uh, and then page 54, oh. 1, 6, and 7. Holy shit. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. 
Where is it? 54? 50, 54 is the other page. 54. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, here we go. And then they wanted... Okay, that's just like the uh, elimination one, method. Three, six, seven. One, three. Okay, let's yeah. do... I think three is the one that you're actually going to need help with. The other ones I feel like you know how to do. That's just, that's just the yeah, elimination method. Easy. You know how to do that. Uh, grab this one. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is like the welder shit. Yeah, where they're like, oh, there's this and this, and then what? what's the total or something? Okay, and then six and seven. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You know what? We're, I'm actually just going to probably pull in, like, all these. These are probably good ones. And then we'll, we'll just see, like, which ones you need help with. Probably pretty good. All right. Put this here. We're going to get a good review of math today. All right, we're good. Okay, cool. All right, um, where's my pen? There's my pen. Okay, let's start with the first ones, right? So they're asking you to uh, isolate the indicated variable. Let's just double check, make sure you know how to do this. You know, I'm pretty sure you do. All right. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Come on. Here we go. Connect. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, how would you do? How would you do this first one? Isolating for y. How would you isolate this? Uh, you would make the x a zero, so you get rid of the ten uh, x completely. Because it'd be ten times x. Oh, so you, no, 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 no. When they say isolate, isolate the indicated variable, they want you to get like y equals is what they want you to do. They want you to rearrange such that you get this variable by itself on one side and everything else on the other side. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You just uh, flip the y with the y comma one comma y. No, no. Don't, so the comma y, they're just telling you this is the variable they want you to isolate. In reality, demented, this is the equation. It's ten x minus y is equal to one. Comma y just means isolate. Isolate y is what they want. Oh, then yeah, you just flip the y and the one, and then the one would become a positive because that's a negative. So yeah, so so close. So you're gonna add y, add y, right? So that's 10x is equal to uh, one plus y. You see this? See what we're doing? Okay. And then what do I do? Oh yeah. So you'd have. Wouldn't you just rewrite it as uh, y one? Y. Or you could say y pl y plus one equals 10x. Yeah. But I still want y by itself. Isolate means like get it like all by itself. Like lonely, lonely y. Yeah. You would divide by one. Nope, nope. The one there. No, no, no. See, this is y plus one. You always want to do the opposite of what's happening yeah. to it. Y is being added with one. Oh, so subtract. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to subtract one on each side dimension. Okay. So y is equal to 10x minus one. All right. Hey, this, hey, the, is the kid. I changed my name to agent, just so you know. All right, cool. Good to see you. Snippera, <laughs> you guys with all your why? Why can't anyone like just stick to a username and not like not change it all the time? <laughs> like me, yeah, I, I know demented. You've now. always been demented. It's okay. I guess people are at the age where they're finding themselves. My first like screen name was Cool Skater Two One Five. I was like, I like to skateboard and I'm cool. So my username was Cool Skater Two One Five, and then like yeah, I I switched it to Loafers after that because Loafers is the shoes I always wear. Bro, that was my screen name for a long cool time. Dude. Yeah, was it? Yeah, cool dude something, right? I feel like it was always like cool something, you know? Yeah. Too funny. Okay, Demented, let's let's see if we remember if we learned something here. How would I do this one then? Like let's see for this for this okay. this part this question. So that would be rewritten as like one and a half x plus y ten. So one half x. And one half x plus y is equal to ten. What what variable do they want you to isolate for? Uh, x. Good. Yeah, they they say comma x. That means isolate for x. Okay. So I want to get x by itself. That means I need to strip everything away from it. So what am I going to do? You would minus by one half. Nope. <laughs> close, 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 close. All right. First of all, oh, identify where the variable is. This is the variable that we're trying to get by itself. Yep. Look at the thing that's furthest away from it, and then work on that first. What's furthest away? The one half or the plus y? Plus y. Good. 
So what's the opposite of, of plus y? Minus y. Good. You're going to minus y on both sides, okay? So this is going to go away. And I'm just going to get, this is going to equal to 10 minus y. Okay? Getting closer. What's the next thing that's attached to the x? The one and a half. Just one half. It's not one and a half. One and a half would be like that. This is one oh, half. Right. One half. Yeah. Okay. So what do I what do I do with the one half? Uh, you would just divide it, right? No, yeah. Multiply, you can. not divide, because. Well, yeah, you can do you can do two ways, two things here. Okay. This one half is technically being multiplied by the x, so I would need to divide by one half, right? Uh, Okay, that can sometimes be confusing though. So another way to write one half x is to write this as x over two. Do you understand that? Wait, why would that be? Good. One half times x is the same thing as one half times x over one. Okay. Oh, yeah. One times x is just x. Two times one is just two. This is x over two. Okay. Now this looks a little bit simpler, right? Because now I'm like, oh, x is being divided by 2. So what, what do I do? What's the opposite of dividing by 2? Multiply by 2. Good, multiply by 2. Now here's, here's the other tricky thing here, Demented. You need to multiply everything on this side by 2. Okay? This will go away. So we'll get x. x is equal to. But what will this all turn into? Wouldn't this be like 20 minus 2y? Nice. Yes, 20 minus 2y. Good, because the 2 hits both of these. Cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, good. Alright, you understand that. Nice. Okay, let's go to something else. Uh, decide which variable to isolate, then substitute for this variable and solve the system. That's cool. Alright. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. So, this is a system of equations, Demented, right? Which means you have, you have two equations. So, I have one equation here, which is y is yeah. equal to x minus 5, and I have another equation which is x plus y is equal to 9, right? And I need to find what value for x and y makes both of these equations true. That's what a systems of equation is. Okay? Oh. So one so method... Whatever number. One method you learn is the substitution method, which is basically get, isolate one of your equations for a variable. In this case, it's already isolated. You already have y equals, right? You see how this is already isolated for yeah. you? And then just plug that into the next one, okay? So this becomes x plus, and instead of y, I'm going to write x minus 5, okay? Equals 9. Do you oh. see that, Demented? Do you see how, like, I, I, just yeah. took, I just took, like, whatever y was and goes into here? Teacup says, I hate having a life. What's wrong with having a life, dude? Life is pain sometimes, I agree. <laughs> Life is pain. Fuck. Ugh. But you gotta get through it. You gotta get through it, dude. Life, 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 life keeps life. Life, life gets lifey sometimes, is what I say. Life gets lifey. <laughs> all right, Dementia. So now that we have this, you see how now this is all in just in terms of one variable, x? We can solve this. This is algebra, right? Yeah, you just... It would be 2x minus 5. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, I'm x and to, x. Wait, brackets? Or we just collect the like? You, you can get rid of the brackets at this point. I put the brackets when I substitute in. Oh. Like, I'll show you to make sure there's nothing tricky. I'll show you, like, why things can be tricky sometimes. But, yeah, oh, if... Okay. I can just get rid of these. So now it's 2x minus 5 equals 9, right? What's the next step? Mm, you would, uh... What's up? You would just solve, which would be yeah, how 2 solve? times... Negative two, two times negative two. Five. No, 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 no! Don't, don't change anything on x. No. Get x by itself. Remember, we want to isolate this. What do we do to isolate? Uh, you get rid of the number closest to, which is the two. So you would no, no. Get, get rid of the number. Get, get rid of the number furthest from it. Furthest, furthest away. Furthest. So you would, since we're minusing five, would add five. Good. Add five. Add five. Good. So now we have two x is equal to fourteen. What do we do next? Get rid of the 2, so we would subtract 2 on each side. What is what is 2 doing to the x? Oh, it's multiplying, so you divide by 2. Thank you. Good. 
Divide both sides by 2, right? That gets you x is equal to 7, right? Okay. So you've, you've halfway solved this now, Demented, because now I know x equals 7. But how do I figure out what y is? So I can you would you can, substitute the, mm -hmm. the x in the first equation. Good. You can actually, you can put it in either of them. You can put it in this one or this one, but this one is easier, right? Because I'm going to get y equals yeah. straight away, right? So if I put this into here, right, now I get y is equal to 7 minus 5, y is equal to 2, right? Yeah. There you go. And that's, that's how you solve, like, that, that system. Oh, no. Yeah, you got it. All right. All right. Now let's try something a little bit harder. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, God, he says. All right. Because uh, that one was kind of cake. They, they, they gave you kind of like a pass on that one. All right. What about... Uh... Okay. Let's try this one. Let's try this, this set of equations here. X plus 4Y is equal to 21. 4x minus 16 is equal to y. Oh. What did we do in the first time? You need, you need, to, you need to isolate first, right? What do we need to isolate? Yeah. So we could isolate the y. No, you would, I want to isolate the, I'd say the x would be the best thing to isolate. Good. So you want to isolate the x in the first one? one? Yeah, this, this one. You isolate yeah. this. So how would I do that? So first, you want to get rid of the furthest thing from it, which Good. is the four y. Mm -hmm. So because it's adding, you would minus. Good. Nice. So I'm going to subtract four y from both sides. Yeah. Right. So now I get that x is equal to twenty one minus four y. Right. Yeah. Okay. And what's the next thing I do? Now we get rid of. You want to get rid of the four y, so you just add four. No, 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 no. No, this was this is this was our isolated equation. Now we're gonna substitute. Oh yeah, this is when you substitute. Okay. Oh my god. So now for the second equation, four brackets twenty one minus four y whole brackets. Good. So four. Very good. Very good, dude. Then I'm gonna do twenty one minus four y. I'm gonna close the brackets. Okay. And then uh, minus 16 equals y, right? The reason yeah. why I did these brackets, right? Do, do, you, do you see why I, why I did these brackets? Yeah. Because now this That's 4 it. has to hit both of them. If I didn't put the brackets, yeah. I'd probably forget it. No, it. Good, okay. So no, what, what, what? now we distribute, right? You distribute, right? Yep, yeah, this is going to be 84. This is going to be minus 16y. Minus 16 equals y. Okay. Uh, what do we do next? Uh, yeah, we've got some ugly numbers here. Yeah, holy, uh... Ugly numbers. Now you wanna... I mean, the Y is already... Well, one of the Y's is already, uh, what's it called, uh, isolated, so we wanna isolate the one in the middle. Uh-huh. And but to yeah. do that, you wanna go furthest, which would be the negative 16. Okay. So we'd add 16. So each. before we before we do that, we could do that, Demented. Before that, do you see how I have an 84 and a minus 16? I think I want to, like, combine these two first. Oh. Right? Because they're just numbers. This is called combining like terms. Um, which oh, yeah, is... Yeah, just numbers done. Yeah. Right. 84 minus 16 is uh, 68. So we have negative 16y plus 68 is equal to y. Okay. And now we add this plus 16... To get rid of the negative. So you're gonna, you're gonna add plus sixteen y plus sixteen y to like to get all the y's on one side. Oh yeah. You see that? Uh huh. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Then what? And then just since it's multiplying by seventeen, you would yeah. divide. Good, very good. Divide by seventeen, divide by seventeen. This ends up being four, so you get y is equal to four. Oh, shit. Okay. And then you next? would uh, substitute the 4 in the first equation. Good. Yeah, so you can come up right here, right? And we can substitute in 4 for here, right? So now I get x is equal to 21 minus 4 times 4, right? So 21 minus 16 
Well, x is equal to what? X is equal to five. Nice, dude. Oh we rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, that's the substitution method. Very important uh, way to solve systems equations. Um, good review. Yeah, Ethan's like, oh, this is easy. Yeah, I mean, if you remember, it's easy. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you don't remember yeah, things though. Yeah, sometimes you don't remember things. Okay, that's it's the same thing doing these ones demented for nine. It's the same same thing. Isolate one variable, plug back in. Yeah. Okay, let's move let's move on to to this stuff. It's a little bit trickier. Let me see who else has help screenshots. I got Minion, Teacup, and Ethan. Sick. All right, I'll get you guys next. Uh, ba bum. Up the Darsh, Darsh in the chat. <coughs> Okay, um, all right, the elimination method, aha, elimination method's kind of fun. All right, we have 3x plus y is equal to negative 2, I'm going to do this first one here, uh, demented, okay. Okay, um, all right, so one way you could solve this system of equation is by doing the substitution method, right, where we would rewrite one of these to isolate uh, and then we would plug back in. That's like what we've been doing, right? Um, yep. But there, but there's a there's a different way to do these, uh, which can be faster, and it's called the elimination method. And yet, Ethan, you're right. These are simultaneous equations, simultaneous, or also systems of equations. So what I'm going to do here, Demented, is I'm going to treat this as like just adding two big equations together. Okay. Oh, I thought it was subtracting. Uh, sure. We can subtract if you want. Subtracting or adding, it doesn't matter. You want to just you want to subtract? We can subtract. That's cool. Uh, okay. Oh, my teacher always says subtract. I'm so confused now. What? I know. I like adding because then I just make sure things have the opposite signs. But sometimes, like subtracting, it's hard because if you do minus, then this has to be minus plus plus. Do you see how like the minus sign has to distribute to everything? Give me kind of tricky. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Yo, holy shit. Let's just do adding, dude. I like just adding two equations and just make yeah, them opposites, okay? Because right off the bat here, all right, if I add these two equations up, all, all you want to do when you're doing the elimination method is you want one of the variables here to be the opposite of the other one in the other equation, okay? Yeah, the, uh, the, reciprocal, the negative reciprocal. Neg the uh, like just just the negative, just the neg, just the opposite, just the negative. Uh, the reciprocal would would flip this would flip the fraction as well. So if I add these, right? What's three x plus x? Uh, wouldn't that be 3x squared? No, that's 3x times x. Oh, then it'd be just 3x. What is 3x three... plus 1x? How many x's do I have? Too many oh, x's. Oh, four. four x's. Holy, I forgot the invisible one. Ah, uh, the invisible one, yes. This is, there's an invisible one here, technically. Yeah. 4x. Do you I see plus, here, plus y minus y? What's plus y minus y? It would be uh, minus y. No, no, no. What's plus one y minus one y? Yeah, Ethan knows it. Yeah. Oh, zero. Oh my god. Sorry, dude. It's, it's Monday. One, bro. It's Monday. It's Monday, dude. It's the ones, dude. All right, plus zero, right? What's minus two plus minus six? Negative eight. Good. Good. I now you can solve for x. Oh, now you can god. solve for x. What do you got? Oh, that would be negative two. X equals negative. See how that was quick? We instantly got an answer, right? And then you can just plug that right back into yeah. here, right? Negative 2 minus Y equals negative 6. Y just equals 4. Uh, or, yeah, Y equals 4. And then you're done. See how quick that was? Yeah, oh my god. Okay, so sometimes things aren't going to line up so nicely, though, all right? So let's say, for example, um... Mm, one where they're the same. Yeah, let's let let's let's try e here, for example. All right. See here we have three x minus two y is equal to negative thirty nine, and then x plus three y is equal to thirty one. Okay. Okay. So none of these are right away just like uh, opposites, right? So what can we do? If you move them around, then it would become a negative. Well, yeah, so here's what you can do. You can always multiply any of these equations 
on both sides by any number or a negative thing, for instance, okay? So, let's say I multiplied this whole thing, right, by negative 3, okay? I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 3. That's going to get me negative 3x minus 9y equals negative 93, okay? Mm -hmm. You see that? You see how we, we just multiplied that all and we got this, right? Wouldn't, would you have to do it to the top as well? Or no. Just... We only want to do it to the bottom, right? But the important thing is we did it to this side, this side and this side. We did it to both sides. That's what's important. Oh, okay. But the reason why I did that, Demented, is because now my top equation, right? The top equation right here will cancel. Wait, what? You see this? Oh, yeah, because the three, negative three, X, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. This cancels, right? Bye-bye. So then, what is this? Minus 2Y minus 9Y is what? Negative 11Y. Okay, and then what's this? Oh, well, this is actually kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> This is, uh, oh, this hurts my brain. I think this is negative 132. No. Yeah, 132. No. Wait, is yeah. it? Isn't it? I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. I mean, I could check with the calculator. Where's my calculator? It would be because then you just do negative, uh, no, not negative. You just do times 11 and then it'd be 11 times 11. Wait, my calculator is gray. One sec. We got, we got, we got to fix this, dude. We can't have no gray calculator. Yeah, we always gotta fix this. I gotta see the gold calculator. I have the gold calculator. There we go. Much better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 132. I'm pretty sure this is this is 12. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's 12. Yeah. Good. All right. So you get y is equal to 12, right? And then you can plug right back in to solve for it. You can plug it into either one, right? I'll just plug back into this one. So I get x plus 36 equals 31. That tells me x is equal to negative five. Right? Let's go. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, all right. Last stuff we'll go over. Maybe some word problems real quick here. Uh, all right. Because did we have any... Was it one with like a welder or something you needed? Where was it? I just saw it. Where the fuck it yeah, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Oh, dude, Obama's Obama's dumping bond coins. <laughs> yeah, he wants to. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Obama's dumping bond coins, dude. He wants he wants the, the vault. He wants the vault first. Okay. Here we go. When a welder works for three hours and an apprentice works for five hours, they earn a total of 175. Okay. When a worker welder works for seven hours and an apprentice works for eight hours, they earn a total of 346. Find the hourly rate for each each worker. That's kind of cool. All right. Um. Uh, let's see. Okay. So how much? So we we have to, we have to come up with something here, which is like is is uh, how much money you make, right? That's equal to the rate that you get paid times the time, right? <laughs> I forgot the baby voice. Is the baby voice actually working on the stream? Y'all tell me if it is. I think it is, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so the welder works for three hours. So, so he, he, this is an important thing here, Demented. The amount of money you make is, is like your hourly rate, right? Times the amount of hours that you work, right? Uh -huh. Like, if, if you're working at a grocery store for $15 an hour and you work for four hours, like, how much money do you make? Uh, you would make one twenty. Sixty. No, not one twenty. Yeah, I, I would hope. I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hope you make one twenty. That's dope. Like, what? Someone's not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's four times fifteen, right? Wait, well, yeah, which is sixty. Good. Okay. All right. So, uh, this is the important thing. Whenever we have word problems and whatnot, you want to assign variables to the things that you don't know. Okay. What are the things I don't know in this in this in this in this word problem? Uh, I don't know how much each worker gets paid. Good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create a variable for each one. All right. So you tell me what variables you want to use. You can come up with whatever whatever letters you want, dude. Uh, World is your oyster. Cool. All right. So let's do X as like the welder rate, welder rate, and let's do Y as uh the apprentice rate. Okay. So, yeah. uh, what we know 
is that when a welder works for three hours um, and the apprentice works for five hours, they earn a total of $175, okay? So I'm going to say $175 <coughs> is equal to what? It's equal to X plus Y. Close. That's the rates, right, that the welder and, and, and the apprentice are. What's the amount of money that a welder makes? Uh, X. X, good. X is their rate, right? That's the rate. Times what? Oh, times the hour. Good. How many hours did they work? How many hours did the welder work when they when they made $175 with the other guy? Okay. What? Oh, he, uh, the, work, uh, the welder worked three. I was looking three. At this. So I'm going to write this as 3x. You, does this make sense? Welder works for 3x. Three hours times the welder rate. Plus, okay, then tell yeah. me what, what would be the, the numbers for the apprentice? Plus 5y. Plus 5y, good, okay. That has to equal 175, right? That's an equation, okay. Yep. What's the next equation? Uh, then you would do 346. Good, 300, 346 is equal to what? Plus... Uh, Equals 7x plus 7x, y. good. Good. And then 8y. 7x plus 8y. Nice, dude. Good. There you, there you have it. You see how, like, you've created, like, uh, systems of equations? Yeah. Nice. Okay, good. All right. This is something you can solve now, right? Okay. Um, using any of the methods that we learned before. So you could learn, you could do this using the substitution method, or you could do this using the elimination method. Um, but elimination method seemed easier. It would be right. Um, except this is going to get kind of hard, right? Because in order for the elimination method to work, mm -hmm. what would I have to multiply the stuff by? Oh, you would have to like multiply by three, negative three. For which one? For the second. Good. Okay. So yeah, we can multiply this one by negative three. Okay. Uh, let me see. What's that going to be? So that's going to be, uh, yeah. 340. Yeah, yeah. One sec, one sec. There we go. Stop. Get away from graphing. So that's 346 times three. Okay. That's negative 1038. Okay. So we have negative 1038 equals 21 X plus 24 Y or sorry, negatives here. They're negatives yeah. here now. Right. Okay. So, right, we've turned that, we've turned, that's our new equation, right? Mm -hmm. Now what do we need to do? We need to do probably something to this top equation here, right? To get the elimination method to work. Oh, wouldn't you just add them? What would... Well, look what happens. If, if I do add them, do you see how I have 3x and minus 21x? Those don't cancel yet, right? And 5y and minus 24y, those don't cancel either. What do I need to do to here in order for them to cancel? Oh, you would uh, multiply by 7. Perfect. Yes, dude. Yes. You multiply this by 7, okay? So, uh, again, we got to get some numbers here. 7 times 175. Uh -huh. I know, that's a big one. That's 1225, okay? So this is 1, 2... 1225 uh, is equal to 21x plus 35y. You see that? Yeah. Now, I have things that cancel, right? Now I can do the elimination method. Because if I come down, right, 21x and minus 21x, right, gets you 0x. Zero. Okay? 35y minus 24y is going to give, give you uh, 11y. And then this, uh, I'm too lazy. One two two five uh, plus negative ten thirty eight, so minus ten thirty eight. That's gonna get me one eighty seven. Okay. So now I just divide both sides by eleven, right? Yep. And we get that y is equal to seventeen. Okay. So that's how much money the apprentice makes. The apprentice makes seventeen dollars an hour. Pretty dope, actually. Seventeen dollars an hour is quite nice. 
Yeah, I, I would take that. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty good rate, dude. This is why welders do make good money. All right. Uh, and now once you have that, right, now you just have to plug this in to another equation, okay? It would probably be the first one. Yeah, right. So we have 1, 2, 2, 5 is equal to 21x plus 35 times 17. So then I'm just going to I'm just going to multiply this and then subtract it. So uh one two two five. Uh, one two two five minus thirty five times seventeen. That's six thirty. Then we're gonna divide that by twenty one, and so you get x is equal to thirty. Okay, cool. So the apprentice made, makes thirty dollars an hour, but the um the welder makes thirty, and that's how you get it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a pretty fun one. Um, cool. Okay. Nice. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Here, let me do some other people's questions, Demented, real quick, and then if I have time, I'll come back and explain explain how to do these word problems. Is that cool? Okay. Okay. Yeah. But does that 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 should help you a lot with so far with what we've done, right? That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And again, you can always go back and like watch the recordings of the stream. I put them on YouTube and and they're also on Twitch. So nice. Okay, dope. Uh, let's see who else has question today. Ethan's got a black blank piece of paper. That's cool. A blank piece of paper here. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Bum 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 bum. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Uploading. Okay. All right, given the function y is equal to negative 5x plus 2 for the given domain, uh, x is from negative 3 to 5. Uh, oh, here, let's get, uh, let's get, let's get Ethan up. Yeah, Ethan, come up, come up. Yeah, there you go. I invited you to speak, Ethan. Although you should be able to just speak. You're, you're a mod, Ethan. You should be able to just, like, get up on the stage, I'm pretty sure. I don't need my permission. Snipper says, can we... Try and get Fortnite at 555 to give me the skin. Maybe. We'll see when we finish. It's my favorite skin. Oh, I see. I feel like every skin is every kid's like favorite skin. And honestly, they, they switch the item shop out like every day. <laughs> like y'all will always find some skin that you like better. <laughs> uh all right, Ethan, what's up? Uh Ethan's muted. Can't can't hear you yet, Ethan. Oh, thank you, dude. Got a sub from Rotog Twitch. That's dope, dude. Thank you, man. We're up to 15. We're up to 15 subs now. Wow. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm, I'm about it. All right. What's up, Ethan? Okay. Right. Okay. All right. They're, they're saying given the function y is equal to minus 5x plus 2 on the domain of x equals. Do you know what this means, Ethan? You know what all, all this, this means? Kind of, kind of tricky. Yeah, it's like, I, I remember, it's like I'm having trouble with this, but you draw a table by now. I don't know what the first step is. Okay, well, let's, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll help you out here, dude. We got you, man. Here, I'm going to, I'm just going to draw like a graph real quick so I can have, have something to do later. Okay, all right, cool. Draw and complete a table of values. All right, table of values, Ethan. Okay. Uh, all right. Table of values is going to look something like this, Ethan. Where we're just gonna have x values yeah. and y and y values, right? Yeah, but then like it's when you put the equation in, like, uh huh. Uh, I can't remember what it is. Rotox says, says if you're teaching math value. on Twitch, you deserve it. Thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> I do teach math on Twitch. I teach science. I teach everything. But yeah, I'm helping math out right now. Yes, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Dude. Fuck yeah. 
Uh, yeah, all right, Ethan. So, uh, we when they say like create just like a table like this, man, do we we just have to plug in different values of x into our equation, and then see what y values we get, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, it's putting like an ordered pair. That's what an ordered pair is. Yeah, it's like putting in an x value and getting a y value. Now, maybe tricky because you're like, wait, what values of x do I choose? Right? Kind of tricky. Um. Yeah, I know what I know so far on what I'm doing. I'm like, okay. it's going to go from negative three to five. Good. Yeah, that's what the domain is. Domain saying negative three to five means those are the x values. So we're gonna we're gonna right here negative three. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Uh, we gotta keep going. <laughs> this is gonna be. Uh, we need. We need a bigger table. <laughs> one sec. Down we go. Okay. Um, three, four, five. Okay. You see that, Ethan? Nice. Yeah, I see that. Nice. Cool. Ooh, another follow too. Yeah, I like I like I get the sub first, then the follow, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, that's good. What are we up to? Four fifty? I wonder if we can hit five hundred followers this 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 next month. That'd be kind of cool. I hit five hundred. Should we do like a big like giveaway if we hit five hundred? I think it'd be pretty sick. Imagine, imagine would you ever do stuff on someone's birthday? Uh, if I did something on everyone's birthday, I would I would be broke as fuck because there's so many of you guys in the server and you all have birthdays. <laughs> that would be like a thousand different prizes. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, you actually give them a wish, and I don't mean you could like think of abuse it. That's what I'm saying. Uh. Yeah, I mean, there's things that do this, like Make-A-Wish and whatnot. Uh, I would like to get to that level. I just need a little bit more funding first. Uh... Anyways, okay. Um, what, what, what is, what is, what is, what is, it, what is the function? Y equals minus five x plus two. Okay, cool. All right. So we have this. Y is equal to minus five x plus two. Okay. So how am I going to find the ordered pair here for x equals negative three? What do I do? I think what you do is multiply the five negative five x, right? Yeah, by what? By the x coordinates. Good. Yeah. So you're gonna take this value here, Ethan, and you're gonna plug it in for x. So that's y is equal to negative five times negative three plus two. Okay. You uh, see that? Okay. What do you get here when you when you do that? Seventeen. Yes. Negative 5 and negative 3 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. There you go. You got your first point. All right. Uh, let's get the next one. Negative 2. What do we get? Is that 15? Well, negative 5 times negative 2 is what? Oh, it's... It, the, the answer is actually 12. Good, yes. This is 10, then plus 2 is 12. Okay. Good. What if I plug in negative one? I think that's seven, right? Good. Because I think I can always say Okay, good. Do you I see a pattern? Down by five. Good, 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 good. You see a pattern, yeah. So we don't have to like keep doing this because yes, this is a linear equation, which means that the difference between the points as as x goes up by one will always do will have a constant difference. Like the difference between the numbers will be the same. So you see how this is 5 and this is 5, right? It's going down by 5, minus 5, minus 5. That also happens to be, Ethan, what the slope of this equation is. Do you see how that... The slope is always the number that's in front of the x. Do you see that? I don't get the slope. I don't actually get the slope. Well, slope is like... Is, is, okay, here's what slope is. Slope is for every change in x by 1, it's how much y changes by. So if the slope here is minus 5, that means every time x goes up by 1, y goes down by 5. Oh, that's what the slope is? Yes, that, that's one of the meanings of the slope. Yes, there, there's a ton of reasons. There, there's a ton of different definitions for what the slope is, but like this is the one that makes sense here. Yeah. So do you see how x is going up by 1 every single point here? Yeah, it is. And then this is going down by 5? 
Yeah, it's like, and also one thing, I think once you get the second number, you can always see the pattern. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, I just wanted you to see the pattern. That's why I let us do this a couple times. All right, so let's fill out. What would the rest of the numbers be here? Two, right? Next, two. Next is zero, two. Good. Then negative one. three. Negative three. Negative eight. Negative 13. Negative eight. You got it. Negative 18. Negative 18. Mm-hmm. And there was another one, right? Negative 23. Good, yeah. So Teacup brings up a good point. He says, like, what if the slope was like this? What if y was equal to negative 3 halves x plus 2, right? Now the slope here is technically uh, negative 3 halves. So there's actually a couple ways to interpret this. Um, you can do the same thing, which is if x goes up by 1, y goes down by 3 halves, okay? Or another way to interpret this is if y goes up by 2, y goes down by 3. Does that make sense? Y goes up by 2, y goes down by 3. Right, because you see, if it goes up by 1, y goes down by, by, by 1.5, 1, 1. right? So if we go up double the amount, we go up by 2, then the y will go down by double the amount, which is 3. This is also why sometimes slope looks like this. They say this is like rise over run. Because this is like the change in y, and then this is the change in x. So for every two change in x, you get minus three change in the y. That's another way that like slope can be interpreted. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. All right, so we got the table. Cool. Uh, draw the graph. Well, that's just like draw the points, <laughs> right? Here, I'm just going to draw two of them. So, 0, 2 is going to be right here. And then, um, what's another one? We got 1, negative 3, so that's 1. And then 1, 2, 3, that's another point here, right? So then technically, uh, you're done, because if you can just connect the two, two points, that's the equation of the line. Okay. Done, done. Calculate the length of the line. This is a good one. Do you know, do you know how to calculate the length of a line? Technically, they should say the length of the segment, right. not the line. Lines go on forever. Like, they should say the segment. But then, like, um, I think I think it has something to do with like a and b equals square square root of a formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the two endpoints here, Ethan. Okay, this is an endpoint. This is endpoint. And this is an endpoint, right? You see how these like these like cap off the lines, right? End and end, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna find the distance between those two endpoints. So I want to find the distance between negative three comma seventeen and five comma negative twenty three. Okay. What's up, Shaq? Uh, yo. <sighs> All right, distance. This is the formula you need to know. This is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay? Yeah, and then this is where it starts to be tricky for me. Okay, why is it tricky? It's all right. What's, what's wrong? Think of this is like, this is x1, uh -huh. this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. Okay? Just plug them in. <laughs> Wait, Dr. is there two X1s in there? There's two X1s there. Oh, this is a Y, sorry. It just kind of looks like an X. Oh. Okay. Okay, so let's plug them in, right? X2, that's this one, right? 5 minus X1, negative 3 squared plus Y2, which is negative 23, Minus y1, which is 17, squared. Okay. Uh, what's 5 minus negative 3? Isn't that the radical 3, which is 8 squared? Good. Just 8. They add up, right? So this is the square root of 8 squared plus... This is going to be really big. This is plus negative 40 squared. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is equal to 64 plus 1600, 
So it's the square root of 1664, which you need a calculator for that. Um, I'm say like, I, I, what is this? I'm not even ready for this. It's okay. Square root of 1664 is 40.79. Okay. That's about it. That's what that is. Okay. Okay. Good. That's done. Midpoint. Do you know the equation for the midpoint of a line? Equation? What do you mean? There's an equation. So the midpoint is like, what's the point in the middle of, of the two ends of the line? Right, like the, the center of it. As I'm Good, saying. yeah, 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 yeah. So again, you're gonna take you're gonna take your endpoints, right? But it's it's gonna be the average. It's x one plus x two yeah. over two, comma y one plus y two over two. All right. That's the midpoint equation, right? And th this is this is a point, right? So now we just add the x points. So minus three and five. So minus three plus five over two, comma, and then this is seventeen and. Minus 23 over 2. So this gets me... So minus 3 plus 5 is 2. 2 over 2 is just 1. 17 minus 23 is negative 6. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. So there you go. That's that's your midpoint. It's 1 comma negative 3. Okay. And then what about the gradient? Good. Okay. Gradient is just the slope. You're good, Rotog Twitch, dude. I appreciate you finding us. Did you find us on the Discover page? That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, if you know anyone else who needs help like with math and science, just tell them to come by the, the stream. We help them out. Yes, dude. Love that. I'm going to pin your message because I like it. <laughs> I like that message. Dub. Okay, the gradient. Uh, Ethan, the gradient is just a slope. It's a fancy word for slope. Okay. What do we say the slope was? The slope was five, right? Ne it was negative five, right? And that relates to negative five, I think. Yeah, it's just negative five. Yeah, gradient of line is just negative five. Negative five. Cool. Well, wasn't there a formula for this as well? Pardon? Wasn't there a formula for this as well? No. No, you just look at what the slope is. Gradient is just the slope. Which you can see in the okay, equation. I, I, saw that, I saw that there was an equation. Um, it, I mean, the slope also is an equation, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's another equation yeah, for the that slope. Was it. Yeah, that, that's another equation for it. So if you plugged in these numbers, you would get minus 5. You can also just look at the equation, and whatever number is in front of the x here, that's the slope. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. All right. Nice. Yeah, I get it now. Congrats. N nice. Nice. Good job, Ethan. All right. I'm gonna have to ask another question. I'm gonna have to ask another question. I'm just for the next screen because I want to make sure I get it. That's totally cool, man. It's totally cool. I like that. Um... <laughs> what? What's up, dude? I said, um, if I get it the second time, then I will fully understand it. Yes, yes. Practice makes perfect, man. Love it. Teacup, what are the eigenvectors, dude? This is this nasty ass matrix, dog? <laughs> God damn it. This This is so gross. I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, Dcup, can you go get some geometry homework from your friends? <laughs> Instead of like constantly asking me linear algebra questions. Uh it's actually kind of funny. I had a uh, I had this in uh where was it? It's uh Let me see. Where's my Where's my TikTok? I put out a I put out a Twitch video about uh about dot products. See if it wants to load today. Come on. There we go. Here we go. All this the friends I have in geometry yeah. finished their work too fast. 
Well, just tell them to give you the homework. It doesn't it doesn't have to be like. Why do I have to log into it's TikTok not, to view my own comments? It's not on paper. It's on a uh, virtual. Oh, we'll just tell them to take a screenshot. Um. Anyway, dude, I so I did a video here about like what like uh, a dot product is, and I put it on TikTok. And dude, some dudes here like <laughs> this is entry. A scalar product is defined by the properties to verify. Doing a Hilbertian approach is the correct way. I'm like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, very true, dog. But like, I doubt my target audience has even heard of Hilbert space. Like, this is like a this is like a like a very like advanced like level of math if if we start trying to define dot products um uh, and this is tiktok <laughs> and i have memes in my math stuff like i'm not trying to go over like what hilbert space is for 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 dot products okay, hey, i don't think you cool. have enough time to explain that yeah i don't have enough time to, to explain it in like 60 seconds yeah it's just like yeah it's good for what it is so appreciate the guy being like Yo, dog. Well, in that case, let's learn the Hilbert form thing. Oh my god, dude. Uh, find, find, find me a geometry question. Let me, let me. Can you, can you find me something? Can you go find me something that's 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 similar to what you're doing? No, that's not cold. What's up, Demented, bro? What's going on, my my dog? My dog. My head, bro, bro. All right, cool. Good to see you, dude. Uh, you come come by on Wednesday. Help. Come by come by on Wednesday if um you want to go over the rest right. of the the algebra stuff. Cool. Yeah, I got. I have a unit test on Friday. Oh, good. Then, yeah, let me help you Wednesday. Let me help you Wednesday. I got you, man. Cool? Yeah. All right, good. Peace out, bro. Peace, bro. Uh, Minion, come up to the stage. Let me, let me, where's Minion? Bro, I'm getting kicked out. You're not what? getting kicked out. It's just, I want to, I want to, I want to do Minion's question before, like, he, like, gets tired or something. Uh, okay, which one do you need help with? The, there are a bunch of cool ones here, actually. Mm, actually, all of them. Actually, sorry. all of them, he says. He says, actually, all of them, sorry. Uh, that's okay. Uh, here, Teacup, I'll give you credit if you can help Minion with these. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I think, yeah you think so? Uh, can you see him? Okay. Barnabe, Barnabe transforms the numbers from 1 to 100 by the rule. Each number is replaced by the number obtained by adding the original number with the... S Whoa, ouch, this, like, hurts my head. <laughs> There's so many words. Uh, each number is replaced by the number obtained by adding the original number with the sum of its digits. Okay. So, okay, so the original numbers would be this, right? Um... One to, up to nine. Yeah. So now watch what happens when we get to ten, right? So instead of writing ten, what would I write? Um, eleven. You would write one, because it's Wait, one what? plus zero. That's what they um, say by the sum of its digits, right? So this would be one, right? And then eleven would be what? Eleven would be two. Good. And then uh, twelve, right? Mm. Would be three. Twelve would be three. Good. Would be four. Good. Do we see a pattern here? Yeah. This is this is okay, right? So this this was like one to nine. This was like ten to nineteen. Okay. What happens when we go up to like twenty though? Right. What what do we have here? Two. Good. Okay. And then what's twenty one? Three. Good. Are you, are you guys seeing a pattern here? Mm -hmm. Uh. And then. 10. Right. Right, is that how that works? Yeah, 29. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Wait, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Did I miss a number here? 20, 21, 22, 23. We're in the 100 would still be 1, though, right? Uh, 100 would still be 1, right? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. This should be 11, though, right? 99 would be 8. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I think I screwed something up. One sec. 20, 21. No, 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 that's Is it? That's correct. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, never mind. Where am I missing? Where am I missing a number? Oh my god, what am I doing? One, two, three, four. Am I having? Oh, I'm having. Up. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Wait, which number are you missing? Number are you right. missing? This is 20, right? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. What? But where's 29? Wait, what? What did I do? What did I do? 
seven plus that was seventy two. No. Oh, oh, oh! You know where I screwed up? Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, this would be ten, I think. Yes. Okay, I screwed up. I should I should have made this zero to nineteen. Oh, but they say from okay, whatever. Okay, one to nineteen. Uh, yes. Okay, this is eleven. That's what I forgot. I forgot that there's a the technical. Um. Well, we're not going to eleven. This is twenty. This is twenty nine. Technically, right? Two and nine is eleven. Oh yeah, twenty nine to eleven. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh. Okay. So then this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh the world is just it's killing off the lowest number and then adding it to the biggest number. It is, it is, right? What's the pattern here though? Like I well, there is a pattern, but 14. Damn, there's just a lot. There's a lot of these to do, right? Because <laughs> this is 6, 7, 8, 9. Because then once we get to 9, like to 90, right? 91 is already 10, right? So now we have 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Question. What's up, dude? Would it technically be that the lowest number is inversely proportional to the highest number? The lowest number is, is, is proportional to... Oh! Uh, it's close. No, inversely. Inversely proportional. To the highest number. Because as the lowest number... No, so the, no, the lowest number subtracts by one. No, it gets added by one. Gets added by one, right? No, it gets added by one. No, you're right. And, and then... Dude, this is too funny. Is, it, is, is this a math Olympiad question? Am I getting hit with another math Olympiad question? <laughs> Actually, no. I found on Google. It's a Canadian question. Oh, uh, okay. Among the newly... How, how many of these are even? Oh, wow. Hey, okay, don't ask me I find this stuff on Google, okay? I'm a really good detective. How do I do this? How do I do... What? So, am I going to go through and count how many of these are even? <laughs> Yeah. Let's see if we see a pattern. Let's see if we see. Let's see if we. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. You're gonna do it. Okay. What's the pattern? I see. This is like one, two, three, four. Right. There's four here. Count them diagonals. I think that's better. Well, here I I think I think I think we have it. Yeah. And then it's five for the rest of them, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. It's just okay. Five, five times uh, nine plus four. Good. What's that? Um, it's forty-nine. Good. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a cool one. That's a cool question. I think that's pretty dope. Yeah, that's I'm cool. Back. Okay, teacup. All right, here. Let's 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 let's. All right, that one was interesting. Let's try this. Oh, and it's the next question. It's dumb. Ignoring the, uh. Dale has a no, shape made on. up of four I'm... squares. He places the shape on a grid figure so it completely. I have that one too. Oh yeah, you found this one. Is this also a Canadian math Olympiad question? Oh I, no no no! I just found the entire sheet of all his problems. Oh that's cool. Well that's dope. I, I appreciate the challenges. The challenges are fun. I mean, uh, I'm just built like that. Here you want it? Oh my god, it is. Canadian math kangaroo contest. Oh my god. Yeah. Stocking on my yeah, bro. I he got found you. It. He found it. He, he found it. Taco says my brain is broken. Uh, okay. It's straight at the math Olympiad, but Canadian. It's cool, though. No, I like it. I appreciate it because I'm learning something from it. I mean, they, these are cool. These are like math puzzles is what they are. It's like going to the gym, but like for math, like a little math workout. Um... Okay, let me see. Dale places his shape several times as described. In the end, Dale hid some numbers with the circle stickers by what numbers should be... Uh, wait, what, what? Excuse me? Every time Dale does this, the number in the force is... Oh.
Oh, I see. I see. So he's definitely placed it. I see. I see. He's placed it three times here, right? Because that's the only way we could have gotten this up to oh, several times. Okay, wait, 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 wait. One, two. Okay. So we know that these all must be at least three. Right, right, Minion? Yeah. Because that's what yeah. this must be. Okay. Um, then how did he get this to be just two? I guess he did this. He must have done this like twice, right? I and then you can go out of that. I don't think you can go out of the figure. Right? Okay. 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 But so how how do I get a two here but a three here? Oh, okay. Mm. From the top, from the top, uh, like three times, and then on the bottom two times. In a way, no. The well, top but but then that but then that would increase that one by. Okay, so what I could have done, right? Uh, right. If I did this three times, right, and then I did this twice. In order to get this to two, that means that this must now be five, right? Yeah. And this must be five. <laughs> okay. Oh, like the off dope. Right, it is. It's kind of cool. But in order to get this one up to three, right, I have to. I I'd have to do this at least once, right? Yes. So that so that this pumps this to six and one, okay. And now this is one, okay. But then I want this to be one as well, so I have to pump it again, right? So now this one. is two, two, one, right? Yeah. Okay. And now I need I need this to go to six. But here, let's work backwards because this has to go to one, right? The only way this can go to one is, um, is by pumping this once, right? So that's one, one. And then this is one. Actually, Gold, I'm going to let you do it and I'm going to tell you if your answer is correct. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh... <laughs> Go, because you have the answer sheet? You have the answer sheet? I have the, I have the answer hey, sheet. Hey, and hey, the hey, hey, wait, no, All no, right. that's not. All right, hey, well, he's, hey, he's hey. going he's gonna to tell me if I'm right. That's it. All right, uh, okay, cause, but then I need to pump this twice, right? So this is going to be uh, three and three, okay? And then this is two. And then in order to get this to six, right, now I need to bump this up another three. So this should be five. The answer five. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's a cool oh, one, dude. On the other one. Well, I was wrong on the other one? No, you were correct on the other one. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's see this last one. You should one. totally give me question detective because it's funny. Yeah, question detective. I like these. These are cool, man. These are challenging. Okay. In a group of ten elves and trolls, each were given a token with a different number oh, from one God, to ten. <laughs> they were each no. asked what number was on their token and all answered with a number from one to ten. The sum of the answers was thirty-six. Each troll told a lie, and if each elf told the truth, what? <laughs> you know what? Here, I'll, uh, I'll ask a question on it, too. What? Right you. what? What is this Get question? Get right after you. He often... I'll send another one. No, I don't want any more of these. This is the last one. I can't do any more of these. <laughs> these are hurting my brain, dude. Wait, but let me... <sighs> okay. T ten elves... Wait, how many elves and trolls are there, though? Uh, ten in total. So is there five elves so, and like, five, five trolls? Five, five, four, five, uh, no, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, it's unknown. You don't know how many elves and trolls there are? Yeah. Oh, I see. What is the smallest number of trolls that there could be in the group? Oh, okay. So, like, what are the least amount of people that could have lied? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I did you a simple map, I think. Is this simple? Bro, this is tricky. The sum of the answers is 36. Um, okay. So the least number of trolls would lie if... Oh, man. No, it has to be three, right? Cause... I think... I think... I think... I think the elves have to... Have to get all... Well... <clears throat> 
they're given different numbers, right? The elves have to get all the, um... Do they have to get all the lowest no, no, numbers or like all the multiple. highest numbers? Oh, the like the elves have to get all the highest numbers, the trolls have to get all the lowest numbers. And then lie about it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, because, all right, the elves could get like 10, 9, 8, 7, or, or 1, 2, 10, right? Okay, so 19, yeah. uh, 27, uh, but I need to be 36. Oh, fuck, how does that work? 10, 19, 27, uh, 27, 34, uh, okay, then, then a 2, I guess, right? This is... This is the way for there to be, or maybe I I think you want the most amount of elves to answer, right? Correctly. Yeah, that's what you want. So you can okay. get the lowest. So the lowest number of trolls. So I need I need to somehow add up to thirty six with the most amount of numbers. I which... still think it. Can I, I do that? It, I still think it can be. I think it's three two. Well, let's see. This is this is three, six, ten, fifteen. 21, right? 28, 36. Okay, right. This, th in this case, we have uh, three, six, we, we have eight elves that are all telling the truth, right? Yes. Yes. And then all I need are, and then all I need are, are, are two trolls to lie. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, but the trolls have to say a number. Ah. Mm-hmm. I see. Okay, I think you are right. I think it, it is it is three. Because here's what happens. I have to have seven I have to have seven elves tell the truth. Okay. Cause this gets seven me elves, three, three, six, four. ten, fifteen, twenty one, twenty eight, right? And then amongst the three the three trolls, they could all just say uh they could say I, uh three three two, right? Yeah. Or if they had to say different numbers, they could say like three, four, one, right? And this would all add up yeah. to 36, right? Because if you have eight elves tell the truth and they're saying the lowest numbers, you don't give enough numbers for the trolls to actually say things. Because then you're already at 36. Oh, I did it. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Was it three? Is it three trolls? Uh, uh, yeah, it is. Does that make sense, Minion? Not really. Not really. Oh, okay. Let's... Well, then why are you? Why are you on no, the kangaroo contest? No, I want. I want. I want. I want. I want him to get it. I want him to get it. I want to get it. This is. This is a cool question. It's a cool question, minion. Okay. So, let's say that eight elves said the said the truth, minion. Right? Okay. Yeah. They have to say numbers, and if they're saying true numbers, they can't say the same numbers, right? So these are like the lowest numbers they can say. Do you see how this totals up to thirty six, though? Right. 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, right? Yeah. Okay. So at this point, we've already said the maximum number of numbers, right? Because the trolls would have to say 0, 0, 0 in order for the total to be 36. Oh. Okay. But the, the trolls can't say 0. They have to say a number between 1 and 10. That's why I can't have 8 elves saying the truth, right? I can only have 7. Telling the truth, right? Because then, then this gives me a total of twenty-eight. So now the three trolls just have to say a number that they have to say numbers that add up to eight. Is basically what it is. Okay. Okay. If the elves picked the high numbers, let's say the elves did the high, so. This is always kind of a cool thing in math. Is like check the extremes. So I'm checking the extreme where the elves are all saying the lowest numbers, and then I check the extremes where the elves are saying all the high numbers. If the elves said all the high numbers, like 10, 9, 8, 7, like 6, 5, right? Look, this is 19, uh, 27, like 34, right? We're already almost too high, right? Where the, we could only have four elves saying things, and then the trolls would all have to lie to somehow just add an additional two. Which, that wouldn't work. That really wouldn't even, wouldn't even work, right? Because six trolls can't, can't say numbers that only add up to two because there's six of them right you see even if they all said one that would add up to six which would be over the 36 total that i need right 
So the least amount of elves that that can say the truth, I think, is uh. Well, actually, the least amount is 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 one. I mean, like you could, you could have all the you could have all the trolls just lie. Um, but yeah, this is the other extreme. Um, where you could only if 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 elves were only saying the high numbers, then this is twenty seven. Uh, and then you have seven trolls that somehow say a combined number of uh. A, com a combined number of nine. So that could be one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, and then a three. That would also get you the nine. What, right. what about point five or something? What do you mean point five, Elwin? Point five of a troll? No I thing. love having half a troll. I cut him in half. Anyways, <laughs> no, no, there's no half a troll. That's a cool question, Minion. I like that, dude. Do I get a... Yes, yeah, so I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll give you a bond coin for for helping out with that one. Ah, blow, blow, blow. Look at the other ones I sent in health screenshot. I see, dude. Oh my god, the locks and everything, the oranges and the peaches. The locked one. Yeah, those are fun, dude. They got they got some cool ones up, in there. Peek up, peek up. If you give him, if you give him the grade one and eleven question, in uh, grade eleven and twelve questions, I'll give you ten more uh, bond coins from the ones I claimed. <laughs> he's just gonna, you, you just gonna break. He's just gonna break me. Wait, 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 no breaking me. Wait, wait, what do you say? What do you say? He says if you if you give him uh all the what is it from the grade eleven and twelve ones he'll give you all his bond coins. Oh, I got it. Hello. Hey, What's up, Agent Dude? Fortnite servers may be down. Fortnite servers are down? Oh, oh no! What happened, dude? No, it's a maybe. There's an update happening tonight at three a.m. But oh, that's my not now. Then we're good. To log in. Taco sauce isn't able to log in, so it, they might have shut him down earlier. Or okay, yeah, it. so it just might be that. Just coming Let's in check it. to tell you. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Let's check that. Uh, I'll check that in a second. Hey, I here. gave him the 11 for 12 ones. I want my That's bond okay. points. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna break me with that stuff. All right, all right. Let's let's end let's end the stream and then uh, we'll go off to office hour to recess. Thank you everyone for coming to office hours. Super fun today. I had a great time learning with y'all. Bond coins coming in. Nice job. Elwin's also dropping. Good, good to see you, Grim. I'm glad you're back. Uh, yes. Oh, you can speak, Grim. Sorry. Let me get you up here. What's up, Grim? Come back up. Um, also, big thank you to Kurt and Kathy for donating to the stream this month. Really? Love you guys. Thank you. You make everything possible. Well, I love to. What's up, Grim? How's work? You are, you are love too. I, I'm love, I, dude. I like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm love. Oh, I'm gold. What's up? Do you want one of the great eleven foot twelve ones real quick? Uh, you can send it I to me. I'm. A, I'll look. I'll look at it later. I'll look at it on the next stream. But yeah, that's too funny. Yeah, I have matured quite a bit. Your teacher says you've matured quite a bit. I think you've matured quite a bit, dude. I, I I see you from like the beginning of the server, dude. You've 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 matured a lot. I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah, I'm still playing Roblox right now. Yes, dude, bro. Well, no. dude, I, I mean, I still play Roblox. Like, who cares, dude? What's up, Shaq? Yo, is 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 Fortnite down, bro? Is Fortnite down? I don't know. Yo, Almost said it was down. I literally, I literally just like downloaded the Batman game like about a week. I already finished it. Which one, oh, wait, Arkham? Oh, what? Arkham? Yeah, the 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 game of the year one or whatever. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I mean, Arkham Knight or Arkham City, Arkham Origins. Which one? Over, there, over then is like this Arkham Prison or something, dude. Yeah. This is uh, Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight, that's a good one. You, you should have gotten a game that the like, you know, like depends on others. I'm depends sorry. on others, like a I team, the team game. It's it, it's 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 cool to play yeah. like the 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 single ones. Those are fine. Like you know, single player you games. Play, play. Okay. All I'm saying is, you Arkham you Batman like will break the spine of Spider Man. Pre pre perac pre pre ac a pre Arkham pre Arkham. All right, uh, we're gonna raid actual gaming. Uh, if you guys want to join us in recess, I'll be play. I'll play some Fortnite with you guys. If Fortnite's down, we'll play whatever. You guys, you guys, tell me what you guys want to play. Uh, next stream is Wednesday, an hour later. Roblox is shit. Roblox is fun, dude. I had, I had so much. I had so much fun playing Doors the other day, dude. Already played. You already played Roblox, like. I know. I know. We played it Friday, dude. Yeah. Well, here. Let's 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 see. What is up with my? Fortnite is down. Let me decide the game. Okay. All right, all right, Grim. All right, uh, yeah, meet me in recess, and then uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Wait, 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 real quick, real quick. Am I getting those bond coins from Minion? No, you can't have all the bond coins now. <laughs> what do you come, mean? Come over here. There you go. Thank you. 
All right, there the we go. Maybe down. I'm not able to play either because I have some homework to do from school, but I might be able to play in like 30 minutes. That's all good. How it's all good, dude. Fortnite. Usually. It's How it's for it's for another pro probably another hour probably another hour forty whoa, probably fifty five minutes or something. I'll be able to play in like thirty minutes. Holy, there are a lot of people. 